shoes. I'll show you those in a second after this presentation, but they are our fanny shoe of the day from Ellen DeGeneres. They are her popular Champanema sneakers with dogs and cats on them, which I wear a lot, and you always ask me, what are those shoes? They are our fanny shoe today, and I'll show you that in just a second. But first, let's talk about a critter that, well, honestly, I'm never mean to them, and I, I try to catch them and put them back outside, but I know a lot of you guys don't like them. They are the little house mouses that get into our stuff, and uh, often they get into our cars. They sneak in through the, um, you know, the drywall from out there, get into your garage, mm -hmm. and then wherever there's a food source, they just keep sticking around. If you have dog and cat kibble on the floor in a bowl, or if you have um, a, um, a bag of bird seed in your garage, yes, um, you it. just <laughs> seem to not be able to get rid of them, right? And who wants to find a dead mouse in a mouse trap? Ick. Or put poison around, right. especially if you have other animals. Right. So this is the solution with Erica Swineford. This Hello. sold out the last time it, it was on did. the air. Yes. Because it really works. We mm -hmm. actually have these around my house. Um, these are called the Grandpa Gus yes. Mouse Repellent. <laughs> and what they are is four scented burlap pouches, and then you get the mouse repellent and the spray. Yes. So it's three payments of $8. And you can use these uh, to spray with the spray, things mm -hmm. like your baseboards and entryways, um, things that they've chewed on that so they don't come back. You can also use the little scent bags in things like your cupboards and your attics or, you know, I've actually um, hung one in a, a good spot um, in my car right so that they sure. don't get it because if you have a car that's stored or parked yes in the garage sometimes Absolutely. they get in there and chew the wires and stuff under the hood so um, we've had 4,000 of these ordered today yeah. which is over half of our quantity and I will tell you the from my experience these really work they, they do and you know no matter how clean our homes are mice are inevitable you've mm -hmm. either had them already or they're coming because right we have what they want, which is food, warmth, mm -hmm. especially this time of year, mm -hmm. and shelter. And mm -hmm. so um, you know, they find their way in. So what if there was a way to not take care of the problem after they were already in there, causing right. destruction and leaving their evidence behind? Right. But what if there was a way to prevent them from coming into your house in the first place, don't taking like that welcome sign off the front yard, the, right? How this works is they don't like what this smells like. <clears throat> exactly. So, <clears throat> excuse me. This is peppermint oils, essential so oils. So it smells good to you. And cinnamon. So it's, <coughs> excuse me, Sorry. it smells she, like. She, she didn't inhale this. No. I think you swallowed some spit. I don't want to do that. Let me help you talk while you're <coughs> so, so it actually works by <laughs> confusing the mice. They yeah. travel by sense of smell because right. they're, they're, you've heard three blind mice. They uh -huh. actually are blind. Uh -huh. So they travel along your baseboards. Yeah. Yeah, here we With go. Your sense Watch of this. Smell. Okay. So as you spray this along baseboards, along your garage doors, uh -huh. and the exterior of your house, along doors, it actually repels the mice. Mm -hmm. And then the burlap bags you put in all those little areas in your home, like mm -hmm. your pantry, your cars, your garage, mm -hmm. your trash cans, your recycling bins, and the mice mm -hmm. can't stand it. So instead of coming into your house, right. they find somewhere else to go. So this is what you're not using. Right. So a mouse trap, mm -hmm. which is scary. We or have something these glue where they traps, get stuck. Right? And this, these glue traps are so mean because they get stuck on it and then they can't get Absolutely. off. Absolutely. So, and, and their feet get caught in that. And I don't people want to touch say it. they hear them squealing. When yeah. They're on and I'm, I mean, these are just mean. And then these ones, and watch your hands. Yeah, you, I know. You know, they're right? dangerous, especially if you have children or pets. Right. You don't want to be using those. And if you do use them, then you have to come and <laughs> right. clean up a dead mouse. And then, this then is there's poison. The poison which, and, yeah. where do they go to die after they eat the poison? Yeah, and then you got to deal with the dead mouse, and walls. you don't want this in your house if exactly. you have dogs and cats. So um, here's some video just to show you some ways to use them. So again, wherever you see mice, you see their little droppings. And, exactly. And first of all, get rid of the food source, guys. If you have pet bowls of food on the floor, if you have bird seed bags in the garage or wherever, if you got a candy basket in your movie room or whatever that they smell the food they come to get the food right so get rid of the food source and then spray this and they more than likely will not come back unless they have an itty bitty mouse nose plug <laughs> right which and, they don't and that's what it's all about so i this isn't you know poison this doesn't kill the mice after they come mm -hmm. this actually repels the mice and again it's mm -hmm. using natural essential oils things like mm -hmm. peppermint and cinnamon oils mm -hmm. that you see us spraying here yeah. my daughter the first time i used them in my garage i took my daughter somewhere in the minivan and she was like mom 
It smells like Christmas out here. Uh -huh. And it does, yeah. right? It's the peppermint it, and cinnamon. It, it kind of smells a little bit like cloves. Yeah. I mean, it's a really good smell. And again, the burlap bags right. smell like that. What's inside they the bag? They do. So this is absorbent material in here that's okay. actually charged with the cinnamon and peppermint oils. Okay. And the great thing about this is put it in your pantry, your, your garage, your car. Mm -hmm. And then after a month or so, you can keep using these. Just recharge them with the spray. Give it a few sprays and then you're good to go. So what you're going to get is this. There's four pouches in here, mm -hmm. okay, in this foil bag and then your bottle of right. spray. And I guess you could, yeah, you can spray those to recharge. Absolutely, them too, that's you what you to. do. So every month or so, just give those a couple sprays. And you get about 1,240 sprays out of one of these bottles. So again, the entry points for your, we actually found in our garage right. when I cleaned it out, it looked like Tom and Jerry. Right. That perfect little crescent shaped hole right above the baseboard. Yes. And they were getting into my garage and climbing up the drywall and then coming out in my master bathroom. It only takes a tiny opening. They can they fit, fit everywhere. About the size of a dime, which is what mm -hmm. we have here. And not only did, are they is the ick factor, we don't like them, they're gross, um, but they're also destructive. Yeah. So they chew things like wires. Mm -hmm. Their teeth actually grow an eighth of an inch a day. I just learned this. So they have to constantly gnaw constantly to wear chew. their teeth down. Right. So not only are they destructive, but they leave droppings that yeah. can have. And if you're not sure if you have mice, if your pet food is disappearing from your cat's bowl, <laughs> And you know your cat didn't eat it that quickly. What the mice do is they make they put them in a little pouch in their mouth and they make a stash. Right. You, so now <laughs> they've got a stash somewhere where you can't see it, and now they're going to keep coming back. Do you for know that. what Kylie was telling me earlier? Yeah. She her brand new car. They were stashing food up inside yeah. the seat of her brand they, new car. They stash their food everywhere. <laughs> a couple years ago. And then they're yeah. like, hey, here's my mouse hotel for the winter. Exactly. So you just want them to not like being in your house. And when they smell this, they they're like, ooh, I'm not going there. It smells like the most disgusting thing you can think of that's what it smells like to the mouse it absolutely is. and it it's does almost, confuse their sense of smell right. so they can't smell the food it's almost like mace to a mouse like yeah. they don't like the cinnamon it burns their nose and mm -hmm. the peppermint disrupts their sense of smell so you've heard three blind mice because mice actually are pretty blind yeah they use that sense of smell to travel mm -hmm. along baseboards to find food to relocate you know where they're going and this just confuses that and so it makes your can I tell you something unwelcome. if you if you in the spring take your car to get tuned up or your lawnmower it's expensive to get those things repaired that mice have chewed through. Absolutely. Those wires and things, and all of a sudden your, your vintage cool antique car won't start. Right. Because somebody chewed through a wire. Um, so you know, they'll stay out from under your hood and inside your car if you spray this stuff because they don't like the smell. They don't like it. So instead of dealing mm -hmm. with the problem after it starts, like we typically do with all of the sticky traps or right. the poison or the mouse traps, mm -hmm. you can actually prevent the mice from ever coming in the first place. Take that yeah. welcome sign off of the front lawn and just make your home an unwelcome so, place to be for those mice. So each of the pouches covers about 50 square feet mm -hmm. and then you've got 1,200 plus sprays in the bottle. So this is a really nice kit and 12, did you say, how did you, how many did you say were gone, John, today? 5,000 of these now ordered today. They sold out the last time they were on, which was their debut, and this is the first time you're getting easy pay. Three payments of $8 for the Grandpa Gus Mouse Repellent Set. I highly recommend yeah. it. <laughs> Thank you, stuff. Erica. Thank you. All right, am I seeing you later in the show? You are. Okay, I'll see you in a little bit. All right, so can I show my shoes?